Bail hearing for Jolene Silveira pushed back to Mesa Con. A bail hearing for a former member of parliament, Jolene Silveira, who is charged with the murder of his wife, Melissa, has been pushed back to Mesa Con. The matter was scheduled for Thursday in the Home Circuit Court, but did not proceed due to outstanding documents. Melissa Silveira was found dead in the couple's Stony Hill St. Andrew home on November 10, 2023. It was initially assumed that she had died from natural causes. However, an autopsy reported revealed that she died from gunshot wounds. As a consequence, the police elevated the investigation into a murder investigation. Shortly after, Jolene Silver was charged in January of this year. He is being represented by King's Council Peter Champigny and attorney Patrice Riley. Two policemen, prisoners injured in St. Anne crash. Two police officers and two prisoners were injured in a motor vehicle crash early Wednesday morning in St. Anne. Reports indicated that about 8.30 a.m., a service vehicle assigned to the Hanover Police Division was en route to Kingston with two prisoners aboard. When on reaching a section of the runaway bay main road, the driver lost control of the vehicle on the wet surface. The service vehicle crashed into a wall coming to a halt beside a bus stop. The vehicle was extensively damaged. The injured policemen and prisoners were assisted to the St. Anne's Bay Regional Hospital, where they were treated for their injuries. They were later released. JUTC driver who was stabbed now in stable condition. The Jamaica Urban Transit Company JUTC driver who was stabbed yesterday morning after reportedly refused to let off a passenger at a non-designated point is in stable condition. Corporate Communications Manager Kimberly Gardner provided an update to reporters on Thursday. We are very relieved that our colleague is in stable condition, she stated, noting ongoing challenges faced by the company, impacting the level of service employees are able to provide while executing their daily duties. Meanwhile, the company advised that services have resumed on the port more to downtown road following a brief disruption due to the incident. Reports are that a male driver while en route via Marcus Garvey Drive to downtown denied the request of passengers to stop in a non-designated area. This resulted in a passenger wounding him in the left arm upon exiting, JUTC stated. The driver was then taken to hospital for treatment. The matter is also being investigated by the police. The JUTC said safety and well-being of employees and passengers remains a top priority and reaffirm the company's commitment to the continued safety of drivers and passengers alike. Corporate era taxi operators livid over delayed fare increase. Disgruntled bus and taxi operators are still up in arms over the government's decision to delay the 16% increase for bus and taxi fares. The increase was due on April 1, but the government served notice that the fare increase would be deferred. No timeline has been given as to when the increase will be implemented. Several operators on Wednesday gathered at a reporter's compound, insisting that they are not represented by Transport Operators Development Sustainable Services Studs and other taxi associations. President of the New Kingston Operators and Owners Association, Conrad Nesbitt, will present more than 1,000 operations to reporters that the operators did not agree to the delay in the fare increase. Mr. Nesbitt chide, prominent transport group leader, Studs President, Egton Newman, and All Voice Transport Group President, Lauren Finnegan, adding that they do not represent us and they don't speak for us. Over the years, we've been represented and the COP is fully stated, noting that the transport operators are disgruntled by the delay implemented for the fear increase. St. Catherine Man charged for alleged rape of mentally ill woman remanded. A St. Catherine Man accused of the alleged rape and abduction of a mentally ill woman was remanded in the parish court at Linstead. Nicholas Barnett, who is also charged with buggery, previous sexual assault and unlawful wounding, was ordered to return to court on May 15 when the matter will again be mentioned. The alleged incident happened in Linstead on Saturday, March 30. It is being alleged that the accused, while armed with a machete, entered the woman's house, took her into nearby bushes and sexually assaulted her. It is further alleged that the man then used the machete to slap the woman on the head, causing a cut to her face. Following the alleged ordeal, the man fled. A report was made to the police and the accused was subsequently arrested. 
he was later charged. Third employee charged in alleged phone credit fraud at Portmore gas station. The St. Catherine South Police have charged a third person in the alleged theft of phone credit valued at over $1 million at a gas station in Independent City, Portmore. He is Tyreek Austin, a 26-year-old cashier supervisor at the Ruby's outlet. Austin was arrested on April 5th and charged two days later with Larson as a servant and unauthorized access to facilitate the commission of an offense. He appeared before the St. Catherine Parish Court on April 9. He was ordered, remanded until April 28, when he is to return with his school accused Chevrolet Osborne and Maurice Morant, they are all charged on the same complaint. It's alleged that the complainant conducted a surprise verification of his business, which revealed Austin allegedly stole money totaling $920,000. The audit also implicated the other accused persons in the alleged pocketing of payments for a phone credit between June 2023 and January 2024. Smart new signs from Riverton Disposal Site Reduce The smart new signs from the Riverton Disposal Site in Kingston has been reduced significantly. The National Solid Waste Management Authority, NSWMA, said there is a 90% reduction in smoke emanating from the dump and efforts will continue to have it abated totally. NSWMA Executive Director Ardell Garden told reporters that the negative effect on communities has lessened. Tuesday afternoon, 12.30 thereabout, fire started on the outside edge of the disposal site. The wind blowed onto the disposal site and we kicked our protocol into action immediately. Put out the blaze, stop it from spreading, cornered it. So by 5 o'clock on Tuesday, we had no open blaze and the fire was cornered and under full control. What we battled from Tuesday until today is smoke hazards. So smoke, there's still some degree of smoke on the disposal site. But I can tell you since Tuesday and now, we have gotten rid of 90% of the smoke. So there's still little pockets here and there that we're still covering. But we are significantly better. And in terms of the smoke affecting communities, we are 90% better off where smoke hazards are concerned. So I would report that it's pretty much at the point where we can see the end now in terms of the smoke hazard. Give us, uh, for the remainder of the day, we may be kill all the smoke, the wind, the permitting. But we are moving in the right direction, man. Today was a far better day than yesterday. Almost 2,000 calls, texts made between accused before double murder. There were almost 2,000 cell phone calls and text messages made that were linked to Omar Collymore, Michael Adams, and other men leading up to the January 2, 2018 double murder of Sumar Campbell Kelmore and taxi driver Winston Walters. From December 2017 to January 2018, accused Omar Collymore, husband of Simone, was said to have initiated contact with Adams 1,095 times while Adams initiated cell phone contact with Collymore 797 times. There were also communication between the number assigned to Adams and other men implicated in the crime, which would take the tally near to 2,000. Following the killing of the two, Collymore along with Adams, Edwards and Pink, and Wade Blackwood were charged with murder. Blackwood would receive a life sentence after confessing his guilt, later accepted a deal from prosecutors who promised him a reduced sentence if he turned on his cronies and gave evidence during the trial. Blackwood and Dream were said to be the trigger men in the killing. On Wednesday, Deputy Superintendent of Police Maurice Good of the Communications, Forensics and Cybercrime Division of the Jamaica Constabulary Force presented evidence in the Home Circuit Court murder trial. This showed excessive communication between numbers assigned to Omar Collymore and Michael Adams. Good said that on January 1, 2018, the night before the murder, between 7.55 p.m. and 8.15 p.m., there were numerous calls placed by Colomer to Adams and vice versa. There was also communication between Adams and Pink, and according to Good, Adams also communicated with Edwards. The records presented by Good show that at the time, these communications were being made Adams was roving. Communication from Adams was picked up by numerous cell towers in Kingston and St. Andrew, which included the Washington Exchange, Pembroke Hall, Savannah, Haven Deal, Tarrant, and Upper Red Hill cell sites. It suggests that he moved from the General Red Hills era to Tarrant and the Halfway Tree region, 
the Savannah tower was used up to 12 a.m. on January 1, 2018, he said. Good said too that at one point, Adams used the Cockburn Garden cell site to communicate. On January 1 at 8.12 p.m., Adams placed a call to Edwards. They communicated three times. Prior to that, between 7.55 p.m. and 7.56 p.m., there were four lines of communication between Adams and Callimore. Between 8.17 p.m. on January 1, 2018 to 7.25 a.m. the next day, there was more communication between Calimore and Adams, the record showed. Earlier this year, Blackwood testified that the hit to Simone was ordered by Calimore, who gave it to Adams, who in turn subcontracted it to Jim, and now deceased Era Dunn from Book Valley in St. Andrew. Blackwood claimed that Jim lured him into the murder, telling him that he had to do it in order to repay his brother's debt for a firearm that had been seized by the police. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and click the notification bell for daily updates.